how to program the Prototrack EMX that we have here at school. Care of Meyer Precision. This is our two axis mill. It has two motors here, motor here, motor there. But you have to control the Z axis, you have to control the spindle, you have to control loading the tools. So we're going to program at the machine. So we can run this machine as a manual machine. Excuse me. So if we're running it manually, you use DRO, and it's just like a regular DRO. We also have a Z axis. This is this glass scale right here. So it'll keep track of this, but we only use it for tracking, not for machining automatically. So if I hit return ABS right here, and hit the go button or this button, this is the remote switch, hit go, and it tells me, it gives me a warning, check Z, because if this was down, it might run into something. So check means to bring it up. Now I'll hit the go, and it's actually a quick way to check where your zero is. So it's, right now it thinks the zero is right here, so obviously we're going to have to set the zero. It was, it was probably set here. Well, on this machine, if you lose the power, it'll be zero wherever it was last. It doesn't remember, not like the, CNC, the full CNC's. All right, well, we're just going to do programming. We got DRO, program, run, math help, and this is program management. So if you are calling up a program, but you, it's only going to be by numbers, so you need a, a good way of tracking that. If it says MX2, it was programmed here. Right. If it says CAM, it was programmed outside and brought into here with a USB in the back. All right, so I usually do program and hit the look key. If there's nothing there, that means there's nothing in the active program. Or if I wander around in here, I don't see anything. Good, so we're gonna start fresh. Let's get our blueprint. All right, this is a pretty simple part, but more complicated, I would take a pencil and write down some notes, like all the X and Y coordinates, but I think I can read this right off of here. So my plan is to machine this. I'm gonna have to manually machine the top, but I need to cut this boundary, to make the rectangle, and I need to go at least that deep. So that's, that's on me to get the depth. And I'm going to use a half inch end mill, our standard half inch three fluke tool, which is actually right over here. We're going to use, these are already solidly mounted in here. That's a good tool. There's another one right there. And then we'll use the drill chuck for doing the drilling operation, which would be this. All right, so we're going to program it. This is our zero, zero. And we're going to program it to the print coordinates and we're going to tell the machine what tool size it is. So I'm going to start over here if I were to draw a little pencil mark. Pen mark. So I'm going to put the end mill like right about here and go in this direction. And I'm going to end up up here. I'm going to cross the finish line. So this could be like X minus one and Y zero. Okay. So I'm gonna program the rectangle. I'm gonna program, and I'm gonna give it a name right now. So I'm gonna call it the one, two, three, four. And the ABS set is your enter button. All right, so programming wise, we got positions of drills, mills or arcs, and this is for pockets or circular frames and subroutines. We're really only going to use these three right here. So I'm going to do mill. Mill. And it's asking me where am I beginning and where am I ending and other data. So I'm going to start at X1. So I'm going to go minus one point ABS set and zero ABS set. Where am I going? I'm going to this coordinate here. That's 3.0 set and it's the same zero. Conrad, that's called connecting radius and it's for putting curves on the outside. We're not putting any curves on there so I'm going to make that zero. And tool offset, so we're we're using the print coordinates so we're machining this way. So we're staying to the left of the line. So 
so that will be number two. Feed rate, I wrote in the setup instructions we're going to use 10 inches a minute. So you need to know this beforehand. And we call this tool number one. And it's going to be the half inch tool. Alright, I'll be continuing, that'll be one for yes. Okay, now the screen changes to instead of mill and arc, it says continue mill, continue arc. So I'm going to mill is line and arc is curve. So we're doing lines. I'm going to continue the mill. This one's slightly different because it says it just wants to know where it's going. It doesn't need to know where it's coming from. So I'm going to 3x, but I'm going to minus 1.925 and y. No Conrad and continue yes. Okay, continue the mill. I'm going to this corner here, that's x0 and y minus 1.925, oops, minus 1.925, ABS set. A trick is if, if you don't, if nothing changes and you hit ABS set, it'll put in the previous data. So I'm going to continue the mill. I'm going to go from here to here. So that's X0, but I'm going to overshoot the finish line. I'm going to end up at like Y1.0. Conrad, no, but this is the end. Two for no. Hit the look button. Is our path. The zero, zero, we're going to go in this direction. I think that looks good. Now, if I made a mistake, and I need to go back and fix the mistake, when you go into this, it's going to have beginning and end all the time. Notice it says incremental. Right. Incremental means wherever you're at, and that's kind of where we we're at. We, we probably only need to fix the, the ABS numbers of where you're going. So we need to fix those. I go uh, back back, back, back. That's, these are described by event numbers. So now we're on position drill. You get two choices, onesies or bolt pole circles. We're doing onesies. All right, so I want to program these four here first. That's the 250 diameter. So I'm going to set the drill, drill. This, these are through, these are not through. So we'll have to, I'm the Z, so. I'm going to go to this position right here, 0.875, ABS set, minus 0.963, ABS set. I'm going to call this tool 2, and I'm going to put in the 250 so I remember which one it is. I'll go position drill, onesie. All right. There's another way you can program, like if I can't remember the number, like this is 1.5, right? I make that 1.5 ABS. If the Y doesn't change, I can say zero incremental. <laughs> or I put in that number. But let me try this out. If I put ABS set, puts in that, puts in all that data. I don't have to drill that. Position drill, onesie, X changes, two point, oops, one, two, five. Y doesn't change, that's incremental. Same, same. Position drill onesie. Okay, now you take over. Oh, you know what I just did? I just programmed it. I programmed the middle row. <laughs> That's the 375 side. I really wanted to do the small holes, big holes, so I don't get them mixed up. So let's go back. We're going to reprogram the drilling. It's pretty simple. Uh, delete, delete, delete. Okay, we're starting over. So from there you can just do the drill, do the four outsides, we call them 250, and then this one I would call tool 3 at 375. So you get your program, but you can swap the drills as needed, or the end mill. The end mill is pretty easy. Then I'm going to go over the setup, how do we set this up, okay? Alright.